All right, little video of Paul's 1000 amp controller pre-charge methodology. Uh, the Kilovac is connected to the pre-charge control circuit right now. Uh, this would switch a pre-charge resistor in line between uh, the capacitor positive of the controller and battery positive of the traction pack. Uh, when you enable power to the controller, it closes the contactor, which would then connect the relay. You hear the contactor click there, and it waits until precharge is complete. Uh, here I am manually precharging to 108 volts through a 4.7k resistor. If I hold that on there, The slow precharge. There it is. Uh, when the controller is charged or determines that it's charged, uh, the precharge resistor will be disconnected uh, from the system and the regular contactor will close through the contactor port, which is the green wire I have there. Um, and that will directly connect to traction power. So I'm going to shut this off and switch this over real quick alright now the contactor is connected to the actual contactor output so if I enable the power to the controller you can see it does nothing and I will start the pre-charge sequence again by connecting this 108 volts through 4.7k resistor There it is. You can see the light stays blinking for another couple seconds. I'm not too sure why that is. Hopefully Paul can clarify that. It seems like that's about the 90% point or something like that. And there it is. Um, just discharge the capacitor to be safe. And then when I shut off the power, the contactor lets go. So that's how the pre-charge works on Paul's 1000 amp control board.